Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial. My name is Damien and today I'd like to talk about how to manage printer drivers in Printix. To do this we either go to the printers overview and expand the print queues for any given printer. We can of course have multiple print queues per physical device. Or we can go straight to the print queue overview. I can see there's a filter already applied so we can actually go to the filters and search by network. So I can only make the, uh, the printer queues for the Frankfurt office visible. So um, we're going to focus in this case on the Lexmark E46 CDN. If I open this and go to the drivers, we can see that for Windows 1064, currently we have the Lexmark Universal version 2 plus grid 3 driver in version 2910 set. So this means that if you deploy the printer queue through Printix, either by self-serve, by the user going to the choice of print queues and putting the tick in the box and adding, or having this print queue automatically deployed based on your network location and possibly your group membership, in any of those cases, we'll apply this printer driver. And this is in fact the manufacturer native driver. So let's just hop over to the printer queue in my Windows 1064 over here, manage it and have a look at the properties. And we can see indeed it is the Lexmark driver in uh, version 2.9.1.0. So that's all fine. Let's just hop back into this and have a look at the choices we have for the different printer drivers. First of all, this printer driver uh, was actually discovered on one of my computers that I added to this tenant by installing Printix client onto the computer. Um, when I go to the three dots at the end of the line, we can see I have the menu pop up change print driver. And in here, we pre-populate the, uh, the current driver name. So that's why we can only see this one single driver show on the left side. So if I go up here into the search bar and wipe everything until Lexmark Universal. Now I can see all of the drivers available to me. I can see that by the timestamp, these printed drivers have been found and uploaded automatically from one of my computers that they were discovered on, simply by having the printer queue installed on that machine beforehand, before I installed Printix client. It will actually scan each computer and search for existing printer queues and if it finds some using TCP IP or WSD ports, it will upload the coding driver, sort of building your custom driver repository as you go, as you deploy into your infrastructure. So in here we have a whole raft of different drivers I can choose from. Currently set is the universal postscript. Now let's just go over here and change it to the, the PCL5 version. Or I'll just take one that hasn't got the timestamp. So the ones without the timestamp are in fact drivers that we provide through our master database covering around about 10,000 devices across all manufacturers. So let's just use the version 2800 PCL6 Universal. So once I do this, I'm going to go change driver and then I'm going to go back. And I've now made that the default setting for the printer queue called Lexmark E46 CDN, which is already deployed on my computer, by the way. So at that point, nothing has really happened in my operating system. We've made the change on the, the meter layer, the, uh, on the management layer in the, the cloud administration, but we haven't enforced it yet. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say update print queue on computers. Confirm that. So you'll see that the printer queue was deleted altogether and it's going to be reinstalled using the new driver that we've set over here. So just keep in mind, this is all based on queues. So each single printer queue, you could associate a different driver with. You could also have different configuration profiles, which I'm going to get into in the next video. So please feel free to take a look at that as well. Um, I'll give you a, a link box uh, in the top right for it. So this means we can have things like always duplex, always black and white by default, etc. PP set on the print queue level. The other thing that I want to quickly mention is we are only seeing Windows 1064 because 
I've only installed Printix Client onto computers running Windows 10 64 so far for this tenant. If I were to add a Macintosh machine or a Windows 7 32, whatever it might be, that would also appear down here in the, uh, the driver's overview. To show you which uh, operating systems we do support, we can say show all and it will give us all of the different operating systems with the drivers that we're suggesting to use. So again, if I install Printix client onto a, a Win864 and we can find the driver associated with that Printq, if that Printq already exists on that computer, then we will use that and set it as the default in Printix2. The idea being we don't want to change anything in the first instance when we introduce Printix to any organization. So the setting has been enforced on this computer and we can check by going to manage printer properties and we will see that indeed this is now the PCL6 version of the Lexmark Universal in version 2800. I hope you found this helpful and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.